This is the training video for the Abbott Frigo pump. We'll start off by going over all the equipment you'll need, which will be provided by Valindra. So you have here your feeding pump, your giving set, which is the tubing that the feed will go through, your pole with which the feeding pump will sit on, a training manual, the pole clamp, a battery pack, and of course your feed. Now we're going to go over how to set up your pole. So it comes in two parts. This is the top part of your pole. Find the button down and depress that. Slide it through until it clicks in place. And that's how you set up your pole. Now we will go over how to set up the pole clamp to your machine and the stand. Take your pump and look at the back where there is a screw entry point. Connect your pole clamp to your machine by making sure it's horizontal and lining up the screw to the back of the pump. Then turn to tighten. Okay. And now you'll want to find the green dot at the bottom of your pole and line that up with this screw at the back here. And you'll want to loosen it so that it'll fit the pole inside the clamp. So we'll line this up and just tighten it, ensuring that the pump is secured to the pole. To charge your pump, place the end of the battery cord into the side of the pump and plug this into your main outlet. Once your pump is plugged in, you will see a battery symbol on the left bottom screen indicating the pump is charging. Once the pump is charged for six hours, you will have approximately 24 hours of battery life. Now we will go over how to connect your giving set to your feed. First, check the type of feed you are given by checking the name on the bottle. Our dietitian will go over what type of feed you will be given and a feeding regimen will be decided for each individual. Check the expiry date to make sure the feed is within date. Shake the bottle to ensure the contents are mixed and there are no lumps or discoloration. If you notice this, discard the feed and take out a new bottle. Take your giving set package and check the expiry date to ensure the package is within date. Open the package and take off the paper strip. Ensure the end of the tube is not touching any surrounding surfaces to avoid contamination. There is a cap provided that is attached to your tube that you can place over the end. Take the protective cap off the bottle. There is a seal in place. Do not puncture the seal with your hands or any objects. Screw the giving set onto the feed, and this will automatically break the seal. And that is how you attach your giving set to your feed. To put your feed onto the pole, find the loop hole at the top of the feed and place this over the hook. Now we will go over how to put the giving set into your pump. Find the purple cassette where there is a clip facing outwards in the middle of the tube. To open the door of the pump, pull gently up on the clip of the door. The giving set will be placed on the side of the pump. The soft loop of the purple cassette will go over the purple circle with the clip facing outwards. Pull down on the purple cassette using the clip until you see the purple image of the cassette on the side of the machine and place it over top of this image. Once in place, make sure the tubing is not kinked. Close the door by pushing it in place until you hear a click. This will take a little bit of effort. And that is how you place the giving set into the pump. Once you set up the giving set to your feed and pump, you will now be priming your tube. Priming is when the feed gets pulled into the tube while pushing the air out. We want to prevent the air in the tube going into your stomach as this can cause discomfort. To turn on the machine, turn the dial to set rate. The pump will go through a self-test. 
you will need to wait until this is completed to program the pump. To prime the tube, find the raindrop button on the right side of the pump. Push down on the raindrop button for two seconds until you hear a beep. You will see on the screen display, it says priming, and you will begin to see the feed go through the tube. The feed will automatically fill the tube until the end and might stop one to two centimeters from the end, which is acceptable. If you notice the feed is coming right to the end of the tube and it's not stopping, press the raindrop button to stop the feed. You have now primed the tube and are ready to program your pump. Now we will go over how to program your pump. So after you have primed your giving set, which means to push all the air out of the giving set tube, you can set your rate. So your dial will already be turned to set rate as you've turned on your machine. The dietitian will be giving you a regimen that will specify the rate for the individual. The rate is how fast you will be getting your feed. In this training video example, we will pick a number to demonstrate. We will set the rate at 75 mils an hour. So in one hour, you will receive 75 mils of your feed. To change the number, locate the up and down arrows on the pump. To increase the number, press the up arrow, and to decrease the number, press the down arrow. To get to 75 mils, we will press and hold the up arrow. If you pass the number, press the down arrow to adjust the numbers. We have now set the rate. After you have set the rate, we will set the dose. Turn your dial to set dose. Dose is the total amount of feed you will be receiving every time you feed. You and your dietitian will talk about the amount you need to maintain your nutritional intake. For this video example, we will choose a dose of 800 mils. To adjust the numbers, press and hold the up and down arrows. We have now set your dose. After the giving set is primed and you can see the feed is near the end of the tube, as well as having set the rate and the dose, you are now ready to connect the giving set to your own feeding tube. But before you do this, you want to make sure you flush your own feeding tube with water. The amount of water you flush will be dependent on your feeding regime given to you by the dietitian. This is to ensure that anything left in the tube previously is flushed out and to prevent any blocking of your feeding tube. Once you have flushed water through your feeding tube, take the cap off of the giving set. And similar to the syringes you have been using, it is a twist method to connect onto your feeding tube. Once you've connected the giving set to your feeding tube, you are now ready to start your feed. Turn the dial to the setting labeled Run. Once running, there will be raindrops going from left to right, indicating your feed is going. When your feed is done, it will say Dose Done on the screen, and the machine will alarm. To silence the alarm, turn your dial to Hold. After the feed is finished, Remember to clear the pump by turning the dial to the setting, Clear Volume. This will clear the previous feed that you had. If you had 1000 mils of feed the night before and did not clear the pump, and then went to set your dose for a fresh feed, the machine will think the dose has already been delivered. The volume needs to be cleared after each feed to allow the pump to reset. Once you have cleared the volume, you can turn the machine off by turning the dial to the off setting. After you have turned your machine off and disconnected your giving set from your feeding tube, flush your own feeding tube with water. The amount of water that you will flush with will be outlined in the regime given to you by your dietitian. Flushing your tube with water after your feed is done will help prevent blocking of your tube. Once you have turned off your pump, 
and disconnected your giving set from your feeding tube, you can take out your giving set. To do this, gently lift up on the clip to open the door and you can either use the clip on the tube or the tube itself to lift the giving set off the pump. Place the giving set and the feed bottle in the bin. Once you have opened your bottle, it has to be used within 24 hours. A new feed bottle and a new giving set is to be used daily. You can now close the door of your pump and remember to attach your pump to your battery for charging. So there is a complete troubleshooting guide in your training manual on pages 17 and 18.